Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a top 10. I love doing these top 10 videos, but it's a different kind of top 10. I'm gonna talk to you about 10 amazing products to increase your femininity that no one talks about. Yes, we're talking about femininity, ladies, and it's a hot button topic. I've seen so many uh, content creators doing this type of content, but I thought I'd dip my toe into the pool a little bit because my whole take on everything is a little bit different. So let's get right into it. So the first product I'm gonna talk about is a mirror compact. This is something that has probably been a staple in whatever purse or bag that I carry anytime I leave my home since, I don't know, maybe high school or maybe possibly junior high, I always have loved carrying around a mirror compact, usually one with some sort of powder in it because I'm an oily beast, <laughs> especially during the hotter months of the year, I need that powder to keep things in check. And I just love watching a woman, especially if you're going out to an event and you are all dolled up, just seeing a woman whip out her compact and do that little check in the mirror to make sure, you know, none of her makeup is smudged, any lipstick is out of place, hair out of place, anything like that. You can check your teeth because nobody wants to walk around with food stuck in their teeth. All that good stuff is what a compact with a mirror is good for. So that's definitely a plus and something that just kind of makes you feel a little special. Next is scent. And notice I use the word scent and not perfume. I was actually gonna use the word perfume, but then I thought about it and I thought, you know what? No, I wanna talk about scent. So I think that it's also a great idea to focus on other areas of scent, such as the products you use in your hair. Hair products can definitely make you smell amazing, especially when you're outside and the wind is blowing and your hair is whipping around. And especially if you're just not a perfume kind of girl, you can definitely smell as good as you want to by putting some great products in your hair. Also, body creams. That for a long time was my go-to perfume. For forever and a day, I never really wanted to be bothered with traditional spray perfumes. So I loved using scented body creams. And even to this day, I still find myself gravitating towards body creams. I love slathering them all over my body. It helps to keep my skin soft, smooth, and supple looking too. But also at the same time, I get that beautiful scent. And also you can use stuff like essential oils are very, very popular for a lot of people that also wanna keep things on the more natural side. You're not all about all the other ingredients that are in a lot of other scented products, you can go that route too as well. So when it comes to scent, don't think that perfume is the be all and end all. And especially because they're so expensive too, if you wanna cut out a little bit of that extra cost, use stuff in your hair and on your body to make you smell good. Body scrubs. This is something that I don't think people really realize how much it can impact how you feel about yourself as a woman when your skin is super soft to the touch, to the look, it really is a game changer. And body scrubs for me personally too are very essential. I love using them in the shower to get all that dead skin off. Just like we make a point of exfoliating our faces so all of our other expensive uh, creams and serums that we put on will penetrate better. Do that for the body too. Get a really good scrub down in the shower every other day, every three days, once a week, whatever your pleasure, just to give that extra glow to your skin is definitely something that can up your femininity look. And to follow that up, the next thing is body oil. I am a huge, huge lover of coconut oil especially, but also if that is a little bit too heavy and greasy for some people, I love others like grapeseed oil and also almond oil are great oils to use on the body. That sheen 
that suppleness that oils give your body is just something that no lotion or cream that I believe that I've ever tried uh, can really do. Body oil really does give the skin a really beautiful look. Of course, we can't forget the face, just like we need to scrub down and glow up the body, we need to do that for the face too. So I also suggest getting a really great facial exfoliator. Mine of choice are acids. If you guys aren't familiar with the other content on my channel, check it out. I do a lot of skincare stuff and my number one go-to to keep all the dead skin, get all the dead skin off get into the pores, clean those out, get rid of texture, brighten, bring back that radiant glow are acids. Glycolic and lactic specifically are my two favorites, but also physical exfoliators for the face can get the job done too as well. If you're gonna go the physical route, make sure that you do pick one that is extremely gentle you don't want to tear up your skin. And many of them on the market are very, very rough. Too rough, that's why I do prefer acids. I think they just overall do a much better job. Over time, especially, I know initially, short term, people love scrubs because you get that immediate uh, result and, and feeling. But over time, acids are the way to go and also a facial illuminator just like you can use your body oil for the body you need something to give that sheen and glow and healthful look to your face but definitely creams and liquids are going to give you the most natural finish but of course there are also many many different powder type highlighters and glow products that you can use as well hats or head wraps but hats specifically i think are essential for women just for the simple fact that they cover a multitude of sins on your head sometimes we just don't want to do our hair sometimes we don't have time sometimes you even go through all the trouble of doing it and it just doesn't turn out right and you're not happy with the results slap on a really beautiful hat to cover it all up or even wrap your hair with some beautiful fabric, a scarf, a headband, anything that falls into that category can just take your look up a notch, make you feel good, make you look good without having to worry about every single hair being in place. So definitely go out, find some great hats that suit your face shape, suit your head shape, and keep them around have a variety that can transition throughout the seasons because of course you're not going to wear the same headgear in the winter time as you will in the summertime and keep them on hand whenever you feel that you need to pull it out because whatever it is that you wanted to do with your hair that day it's just not going as planned but you're not willing to sacrifice an all over cute ensemble, a cute look that you've put together. You don't want to take away from that just because your hair isn't on point. So the next two things I wanna mention are things that actually pertain to what is going on inside of your body. And first up are meal prep containers. Yes, this is definitely a product that can help you increase your femininity. I know you're wondering how sway but let me explain. When you use your meal prep containers, whatever kind you choose to get doesn't matter as long as they're sturdy enough to withstand uh, the cold from having them stored in the freezer and the heat from the microwave when you're ready to eat. Prepare your meals ahead of time, portion everything out, and put them in your containers. Everything will be to your specification and that will help you to stay on track with your health and fitness goals. What you eat, what you put into your body is a huge part of being able to be successful with your weight loss or weight gain, uh, muscle building, uh, flexibility training, uh, bodybuilding training, whatever type of sport you may be interested in, 
what you eat is essential to helping you achieve those health and fitness goals. Another tool that I think is really helpful is a water bottle. Yes, I know personally for me, when I'm out and about, I people watch all day, every day. And I know a lot of you guys do too, don't deny it. I feel some kind of way when I see someone walking around with a bottle of water and they're actually drinking it. They're putting it to use. I look at that person and I say, wow, that's a person that cares about their health, cares about making sure everything gets flushed through their system well, that they stay hydrated throughout the day, that they want glowing skin, you know, they want to be healthy. And that is an extremely feminine thing that women can do is drink more water. And the best way I believe to drink more water is to actually carry it around with you. So you need a water bottle. Hopefully, you know, you're not using the traditional uh, water bottles all the time that have to be thrown out. You're using one that is reusable. You can fill time and time again and continue to get your daily water intake in no matter where you are. And last but not least, the final product to increase your femininity is a gym membership. Yes, I know a lot of you maybe that are listening to this video work out at home or live somewhere where the weather's good year round and you're always outside going for walks or hikes or biking or what have you. But a gym membership, I feel, is just something different. When I get in the gym, I am in an environment that is conducive to helping me reach my goals that much more. When I look around and I see other people killing it in the weight section, running for their life on the treadmill, you know, sweating, grunting, all that good stuff, it makes me feel like, yeah, I need to go a little harder. I need to put in a little more effort. Look at her over there in the corner, lifting that crazy barbell over her shoulders. You know, if, if she can do it, if she can kill it that hard, so can I. So when you're in that type of an environment where you're around other people doing the same thing that you're doing, it's encouraging, it's motivating, it's inspirational. So that's it guys, those are my 10 amazing products to increase your femininity no one talks about. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Let me know down below what some of your go-to things, either products or services, things you like to do, places you like to go that you feel just give you that little extra pep in your step and make you feel like a better woman. We'll talk about it all down in the comments section and I'll see you for the next one. Bye.